here is what used to be an old Serraro. Look at all the dead needles. That's the frame of it all. And down there is where it fell many, many moons ago. That's the carcass of it, fell into that. Across that ditch, they start out as nothing. They get huge with the arms. And then when it's over for them, they just drop. It takes forever them to decompose to, uh, to that one. Here's an interesting uh, Samara. There's a bunch of them around here. This one kind of split into twins. Looks like it started off as something else. You can see where it kind of died down. You can see the husk of it. And then these two portions that kind of stemmed out from it, those are about two of the healthiest looking Soraro trunks I've ever seen. Look at all these Soraros yeah, out mother. Here. Look at the size of that trunk. You can hear the wind whistling through it. Listen to that. This even has other plants growing around it. Look at the trunk on that thing. Like a goddamn redwood. He could crawl inside that. That is a huge trunk. Look at those arms. Jesus. That was one of the biggest, healthiest. If that thing fell over, it'd squash it a thousand times over. Now, one day when that thing does fall, it's gonna leave some ridiculous trunk behind. And it takes them forever to decompose. As you can see, there's not much the root structure, I guess, still goes in the ground to some extent. This one looks, you know, these two trunks at the bottom look pretty healthy. This one's obviously dying off. This one's decomposing again. That's after about four months. That's what you're getting. Just really started and recently. You can see the wood husks under there. Eventually that'll blow away. This will just be wood husk. I'm curious to see how long that's going to take. It's getting brittle now, as you can see. How long before it just vaporizes, you know? And as you get back here, it's brittle and not brittle. The needles have fallen off. Animals, I'm sure, are starting to occupy that. These needles are still good here. And on that lower trunk, this was a big one. I always knew this was gonna Look fall. Look at that bad boy. End of the road. How many millennia did that baby come crashing down? Look at that. That thing just fragmented into nothing. Had some arms on it. You could see the, whatever reason it started morphing its arms. Came tumbling over. That's what usually happens. And all the carcass is pretty much blown off. You just have the wood, the structure left behind. Look at that. Started out as a baby, grew up pretty big, it looks like. 75, 100 years, and came tumbling down. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Here's some little baby ones just starting out. Check that bad boy out. Little babies. Never know how big they'll get. There's a couple of new ones there. Who knows how long they've been growing, right? 30 years, 40 years. Someone said they 75 years before they get their first arm, but I don't know how true that is because some grow arms down low, some up high. So many different variations, right? Some are skinny, some are fat. It just all depends. Check out this rock pile. That is pretty cool stuff. There's the old transition. You got some raros, every kind of desert plant tree. And you have this giant boulder that probably weighs about 100 thousand tons just perched up there like it could roll off it's just been perched up there forever how many hundred million years ago did that thing just rocks flying through the air and it landed in this unusual perspective